Ken! Stop the hate! John and Ken! Stop the hate! John and Ken! Stop the hate! John and Ken! Stop the hate! Stop the hate! There's nothing more deplorable in our society than the demonization of our community for a buck, for profit. It's one thing to go to run out and express your free your free speech, but it's quite another to turn around and demonize a community and victimize our community of hardworking immigrant folks that all they want to do is make a living and be part of this society. If this just jo jockeys or any channels or shows are causing hate and anger or violence then they should not be on the air. We do not want another incident of Congresswoman Gifford here in California. And so we're proud to stand with National Hispanic Media Coalition and the many coalition partners that are here in support of this effort to remove John and Kim from the airwaves. Hello everyone, I'm Alex Nogales, President and CEO of the National Hispanic Media Coalition. And what you just saw were scenes from the demonstration and press conference held on Thursday, October the 13th against John and Ken from KFI Radio, a station owned by Clear Channel. As you know, hate speech across the nation on both radio and television is rampant, especially radio here in Los Angeles. We have the infamous John and Ken who day in and day out blast the Latino community for one thing or another. The venomous hate speech knows few boundaries and incites their audience by telling them to call whoever does not agree with their views and blast them for thinking or acting contrary to what they espouse. It was hate speech that played a part in the shooting of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, and hate speech that has increased hate crimes against Latinos here in our state of California by an unprecedented 47%. Hate crimes against Latinos have gone up by 40% in our nation's capital, and other parts of the nation are reporting increases as well. John and Ken must go. They've been demonized in the Latino community for years. The straw that broke the camel's back occurred when John and Ken gave out the personal cell phone number of the communications director of Chirla, one of our immigration rights nonprofit organizations. They told their audience to call him. Within hours, Jorge Mario Cabrera, the communications director, received over 300 messages calling him every nasty, bigoted word in the book and threatening his physical safety. And the calls haven't stopped. Jorge Mario has received over 500 calls at last count. Over 40 organizations, local and national, have joined us in demanding that John and Ken be fired. KFI and Clear Channel have promised all kinds of half measures to placate us, but refused to terminate the pair for the most cynical and base of reasons, ratings, and the dollars those ratings generate. We have no choice then but to boycott the station and any advertiser who refuses to get off the program. I am happy to report that four very large advertisers have seized their advertising on the John and Ken show. They are Ralph's, Vons, Verizon, and AT&T Wireless. Trace that number will leave the show by the end of the week. We need your help to get John and Ken off the air, just as we did with Lou Dobbs when we got rid of him at CNN. We ask all of you to go to our website, nhmc.org, and sign up against hate speech and join the long list of individuals and organizations that say hate speech must stop. Join the movement of people across the nation who will march, demonstrate, and call advertisers to cease putting their dollars into hate speech and programming, such as what is heard and supported on KFI's The John and Ken Show. Thank you.